Alright, so today I'm back with yet another chapter review, and today we will go over chapter 244, which is insane, so be sure to stick till the end, because you don't want to miss it. Anyway, my name is Natsu, and I'm gonna stop talking and let's get right into the chapter. However, before that please double check if you are subscribed to the channel as you don't want to miss my chapter reviews, and while you're already down there, you can always leave a like and a comment. And with that out of the way, let's finally get into it. To begin chapter 244, we are led into the German stratum and into the four-man room, where we see Yukimiya, Isagi, Kurona, and Hiori. Kurona says that if his math is correct, then scoring a goal is worth anywhere between 30 and 50 million. He looks over and asks if it sounds about right. Yukimiya ensures him that it sounds about right, and that Isagi's value increased by 100 million since he got two goals and an assist. Even if they take other factors like chances created into account, it probably adds up to Corona's total amount. Hiori adds on by saying that he got valued at 20 million thanks to his assist and says that to put it simply, your value increases if you contribute to scoring goals. Corona, really embracing his inner shark, says that he will put on a show in the next match while bitting something. However, Hiori says that he will be the star and Yukimiya standing in the corner while burning up says that it will be him this time as he's sick and tired of everyone calling him a mudboat. Isagi is quietly lying in his bed as he looks at his iPad. He looks at their values and thinks that right now, the difference between Rin's value and his is 30 million. He wonders if it means that if they beat PXG and Isagi outscores Rin, he will overtake him in the rankings and finally be given the title of Blue Lock's number one player. He looks at Rin's name saying that he wants to defeat and surpass him. But that's not enough for our blood-hungry Isagi, as we can see him imagining himself standing on top of all the players, while saying that he wants to see the scenery from the top. Suddenly, he gets dragged out of his imagination by Yukimiya, who tells him to get up, and that Rin's match is just about to start. Match 7, the Barcha vs PXG match. They go into the monitor room and sit next to Reichi and Gagamaru, who are already in there. Gagamaru says that he's curious as to what kind of team PXG is. Isagi, however, says that to win and become number one. He needs to analyze Rin and PXG. The match starts with Rin at the top and with the ball at his feet. Isagi is surprised to see that Rin's playing as a lone striker while Shidu is sitting quietly on the bench. Not before long, both Otoya and Bachira go in front of Rin. Bachira tells Rin to just try and get behind them while Otoya is saying some random word over and over. Both Nanase and Tokimitsu quickly come to Rin's help as they say that they are open. Isagi, looking at this, is amazed that they are providing Rin with support while simultaneously creating a 3 versus 2 situation, and calls them good. Rin passes to Nanas, who passes it over to Tokimitsu, who is handling Bachira. But not before long, he passes it back to Rin. However, Rin lets the ball go by, and it instead goes to number 6, who without hesitation passes it to Rin, who is now in range. Isagi is looking with big eyes on the monitor, saying that it's about to come out. Rin's trump card is a highly accurate curve shot. Rin shoots the ball, but something isn't right. Even though the ball goes in, Isagi notes that this wasn't Rin's trump card, but instead a devilish spinning mid-range shot. Everyone is a bit caught off guard, and Gagamaru wonders when Rin learned to shoot a shot like that. Isagi thinks that by adding different spins to his shot, his scoring options have increased drastically, and he finally understands that this is the new and powerful Itoshi Rin. But just then, Loki claps his hands and requests a substitution change, and behind him, we see both Zantetsu and Karasu get ready to go in. And to everyone's surprise, Rin after just scoring the first goal is leaving the field for Shidu, while Zantetsu and Karasu change for both Nanase and Tokimitsu. The game restarts, and Isagi says that they did a wholesale change, and that the PXG playing right now is a completely different system from when Rin was on the field. Otoya has the ball, but Karasu quickly goes and tackles the ball away, and gives it to Zantetsu, who is sprinting up on the field. Isagi thinks that unlike before, this team's playing a very counter-attacking style, and that they immediately go on the counter once they gain possession. Zantetsu, who just got the ball, gives it to number 6, who again without hesitation just fears it off, a high-reaching pass. But Gagamaru is confused as it's too fast, and says that there's no way for Shidu to get to it. Shidu, I don't know what he is saying, but bro, just said a skull emoji, I guess. However, after that, Shidu decided to prove Gagamaru wrong by just right away shooting the ball away, which goes into the net and gives PXG a two-goal lead. Everyone is shocked by Shidu's goal, and Isagi thinks that Shidu is an otherworldly bad shot taker and maker, but still to pull this genius level off is insane. Yukimiya calls him a freak, and Reichi calls it bullshit, and says that there's absolutely no way to game plan against this. Gagamaru adds that PXG relies heavily on the striker's talents to score, 
Yukimiya says that Rin's centered system and Shidu's centered system create a dangerous team with two distinct styles with which they can win. While everyone is curious as to whether that pass was intentional or not, Isagi and Hiyori come in saying that it was and that number 6 knew Shidu's tendencies and intentionally sent that pass. This leaves the whole bastard munchen mind blown, except Isagi and Hiyori of course. Isagi says that number 6 was able to deliver a pinpoint pass with some backspin, so Rin had more scoring options. Hiyori says that not only does he have a good understanding of Shidu's instinctive playstyle, but he can also sync and match up with Rin's vision and playmaking. Coming to the conclusion that the reason PXG can win with two polar opposite playing styles is because of the beautiful passes number 6 dishes out. And then finally we see the powerful and mysterious number 6, who is none other than Charles Chevalier, the beating heart of PXG. But just quickly, why does everyone in Blue Lock need to have shark teeth sticking out? He's definitely a distant cousin to Corona. The text at the bottom says, PXG's style is a double standard system that maximizes the strengths of their two strikers Rin and Shidu. As the two steal all the attention, who is the skilled maestro playing behind them that brings the best out of their polar opposite strikers? And the next chapter is going to be called Die All at Once, which I've got no clue as to what that could be hinting at. Anyway, let's talk about this chapter. Now this isn't such a major thing. However, I really enjoyed seeing Isagi's lust and greed for the number one place, saying that he wants to defeat and surpass the current number one, which of course is none other than Rin himself. And then, this amazing panel of Isagi standing over everyone at the stop, like it's just something about Isagi's eyes and how determined he seems to crush everyone, which Blue Lock is about after all, as it's only one striker who can rise himself to the top and come out of Blue Lock as the best. Now the PXG versus Barcha match, I really enjoyed seeing both Tokimitsu and Nanase out on the field, playing as it feels like it was about 100 chapters since we last saw them. I really can't remember them since the third selection arc, which is kinda crazy. But yeah, it will probably be about 100 more chapters until we see them again. So I guess we'll just have to take what we are given. On top of that, PXG's choice of playstyle is really interesting, as instead of playing both of their strongest strikers, they switch them between each other. They probably realized in the first match, or even in the training, that Shidu and Rin couldn't be paired with each other, and decided that it would be better to switch between them to avoid any major trouble. This is the total opposite of what Bastard Munchen is doing, as they are just creating chaos on the field, as Isagi and Kaiser can't play with each other. However, something that you can't deny is that PXG's goals were nasty. Firstly, Rin who has developed a new special shot which he used to effortlessly score the first goal and not to mention Shidu who just went and crushed it into the net, you know, just going crazy like he always is. However, that wouldn't have been made possible if PXG didn't have that new midfielder, which I'm extremely interested in as we know nothing about him other than his name, Charles Chevalier. However, he looks extremely young, so he's probably in the blue lock player's age, or even younger, probably somewhere around Nico's age if I had to guess but I can't wait to learn more about him as he looks like a scary good player. Being able to match and synchronize his passes to both Rin and Shidu is pretty impressive. Even the bastard Munchen players thought that his pass to Shidu wasn't intended. Now we don't know if he's a new Gen 11 or not. However, if I had to guess then, I would say that he is one as he's crazy good. And if not, then he's gotta be some child prodigy or something like that. Also a really small detail, but I really like Karasu's and Otoya's interaction. Even if it was just three words, you know, we gotta take what we can get. I would really like to see some more just purely wholesome chapters between the players, like the ones after the U20 match, or even the original four gathered and played together. Anyway, yeah, this is just my thoughts on it, and please leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments as I love reading them. If you like Blue Lock and videos like this, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to this channel, and while you are at it, leave a comment and a like as it helps out with the algorithm a ton. And if you're curious to see another video of mine, then please watch the video, which will be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.